Hey, 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 good to see you again. I'm back with Lessons in Love with Jin Young, and this time with Zhang Wu from Singles Inferno on Netflix. This is part two, real juicy stuff with two handsome dudes, teaching you what it is to be a man and how to be successful with dating. Just like tosses the dude out. Got red-handed. You have nothing to say for me after I revealed my heart to you? Don't forget to check out part one to catch up. This primarily covers the last two episodes. Obviously, somebody else took Sulky's heart other than uh, Jin Young. Lesson one, secure yourself first. Confidence in where you're going. And this kind of guides everything else you do, including dating. And women can sniff it right off of you. If you don't know what you're doing, they'll be like, uh, I don't know if I want to be with this guy. Take a look at Jin Young first. That's the mystery. Ooh. He wants a woman to give him stability. Jin Young is a YouTuber now. He used to be in UDT. You know, I love Jin Young, but as a guy, you can't really find security in somebody else. He's got this fractured identity right now, which informs kind of his chaotic dating experience on Singles Inferno. Let's take a look at Zhang Wu. She loves coffee. I hear it's very famous. There it is. He's got a set direction and sense of self leads to more secure dating. Like he knows what he wants. And it's pretty clear that Silky can see that too. Lessons in love number two. Focus on your connection and not your competition. You hear athletes say this all the time, but it also applies in dating. But you're strong too. Every, like every opportunity he has. Jungwoo this? Jungwoo that? Oh, Jin Young. What's clear is that Jin Young used all of his time to talk about Jungwoo instead of talk about his connection with Sulky. Because he did this really well in the, you know, the initial episodes. <laughs> the fact that everybody knows the depth of his feelings just magnifies the impact of that intention on Sulky. Vulnerability disguised as strength. It's like three guys into her. The most popular girl. Okay. Jin Young. Sylvia. 
나랑 커피 마시러 갈래? Touching. I like you. I like you. Like that's it. So impersonal. Like anybody can can say I like you. Jung Woo talking about this personal connection he has with her about how they had made plans to do this coffee thing together. It's just so clear the level of connection that these two are at. 슬기랑 준영이 형이 있을 때랑 저랑 슬기랑 있을 때 온도가 완전 다르다. 네, 그런 걸확 느꼈어요. 오히려 슬기가 준영이랑 있을 때는 엄청나게 올라가 보이는데 온도가 저랑 있을 때는 오히려 조금 차가운. 아 진짜? 어, 나는 나랑 있을 때좀 차갑다고 느꼈는데. 근데 보는 게 완전 정반대인 게 저는 종우랑 슬기랑 있을 때가 그 슬기 표정이 엄청 좋아 보이고 막 행복해 보이더라고요. 근데 저랑 있으면 좀 불편해하고 그러니까 뭔가 표정도 좀 어두워 어두웠어요. 그래서 이런 분위기를 리드하지 못하고 있구나. 근데 종우는 아, 엄청 오히려. 리드를 잘 하고 슬기 표정이 되게 좋아서 오히려 그렇게 서로 정반대된 느낌을 음. 갖고 있었구나. They both felt this insecurity about their connection with her. This clip just proves that focusing on your connection with your partner is the number one thing in dating. Who cares about the competition, right? Lesson in love number three, tact. Basically knowing what to say and when to say it. As a guy, we're so dense. You know, I learned through trial and error personally, but this is a very important thing to women. So, I was going to 내가 내가 그 생각한 또 다른 사람? 응. 그 사람도 여기에 오진 않았으면 좋겠다 싶었긴 했지. 그래서 그 사람은 거기에 남아 있고 만약에 오더라도 다딘 씨랑 오거나 아니면은 그 사람이랑 여기로 오거나 둘 중에 하나. 그래서 나는 뭐 고민을 하거나 그러진 않았던 것 같아. 아, 이 사람도 이렇게 가니까 그럼 나는 바로 다딘 씨. 음. I don't think that's about finding the right one. It's like anybody? Anybody goes? Honesty is important, 100%. Everyone wants to know that they are special, that they're the only one. I learned this from my wife as well. 어제 어땠어? 어제? 어. 어제 엄청 재밌었다고 들었는데? 엄청 재밌었대, 나디 씨가. 어. <웃음> 그래도 가면은 재밌어야지 뭐 우울할 순 없잖아. Clearly, he knows the concept of tact. Like he's not wallowing in details about his date with, with the other girl. What did she really want to hear though? Yes, my date was great, but I had more fun with you though. You know who has tact though? Soki. Mm. 그래서 나도 그렇게 하고 있으니까 종우도 그래 응, 종우도 마음 가는 대로 해야지 우리 서로 최선을 다하자 그래 98년 동갑내기끼리 <웃음> 열심히 호랑이 뛰지 않아 또 그러니까 What a politician! You don't know if you're getting dumped or you're getting a girlfriend but you just feel good <웃음> Wow, so tactful Lesson in love number four. Clarify your intentions. What's it called from The Bachelor? Like validation? Sure, you can date all you want, but when the music stops, you gotta pick a chair. Her smile is all you need to see. At the very beginning, if you notice that Soki noticed the little details like if he got hurt or not, I think as a guy, you you have to notice if she's picking up on these like small little details. If you don't have the right intention, she's gonna know. She's gonna know, buddy. 원래는 한 명을 선택을 하면 쭉 가는 스타일인데 거기 있으신 분들이 사실 다 매력적이어서 다른 사람들에 대한 가능성도 열려 있었던 것 같아요. 음, 저는 뭐다한 번씩은 이야기 해보고 싶네요. 안 해본 사람들이랑. Ooh, she overheard. 
어떻게 딱 지나가는데 저는 한 번씩 다 알아고 싶고 싶은 마음은 있기도 해요 우우 바스텔 뒤로? 갓 레드핸드 생각은 있어요 <웃음> 완전 She's laughing, but I don't think she likes that. I have to say, his intentions were 100% clear. To date everyone that he was interested in. The only issue is that Solki is tactful, a master at hints, picking up on clues, and she already knew that. All right. No? Let's see what Jung Woo has to say. I'm doing 아. <웃음> She's like, oh, so so crystal clear. <웃음> like this. 나는 나도 너랑 더 얘기를 많이 해보고 싶고. 어? 어느 뭐? 정도는 더 가까워질 수 있다고 생각을 해서. <웃음> 네 좋다. 불러줘서 고마워. 아 어, 그래? 먼저 다가간 적이 거의 없건 없어. 아예. 살면서? 오. 오. 우와. Jungwoo is clear as day. A singular intention. You. You and me. Also, another thing is, um, this is outside of his comfort zone, just being so direct and approaching a girl, which, you know, I think is commendable, especially when you put Jin Young in the mix, because we know how potent he can be. He's like the man's man, right? Detective Shoki. She looks so thrilled. <laughs> Okay. Case closed for Detective Soki. Look, Jin Young was clear about his intentions, and Soki had to make a choice based on that. So, it is what it is. Some new information. <laughs> if Jin Young had disclosed a couple more key details to Soki, this info that he told the boys, even though he was still dating, he probably could have had the opportunity to get her in the end. Lessons in love number five. This is the same one as my part one video. Strength is still impressive. This mud pit game appears to be the litmus test for strength in Korean culture. Or maybe just Korean shows, because it happens in Physical 100 too. Pretty brutal game. So they're just in this pit, and they have to throw each other out of the pit and be the last one surviving. This is Jin Young. Oof. Just like tosses the dude out. <laughs> the guy's bigger than him too. Just like threw him out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared too. So we know Jin Young has the strength of an animal, which is important to getting dates. I'm kidding, but. If you happen to have it, then good job. How about Jung Woo? Because we know he, he used to be an athlete as well, a soccer player. Okay. Here's him. The two guys, two, these are the two strongest guys trying to throw him out of, out of the pit. Oh. I don't know how he's doing it. He's just like a slippery. Slippery strong snake. Oh, they can't get him out. Oh, so brutal watching this scene. Oh, you have to have both feet out though. Oh, they can't get him out. 
Oh, damn. Again. We're going for it again. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, but two guys went out. Two of the strongest dudes on the show could barely get Jungwoo out of the pit. I would say A++ strength. Sulky liking. <laughs> Remember how strong I am? Remember that's why you like me so much? You got the pecs, but have you got the heart? Lesson in love number six. Cultivate intimate moments. Spend your precious time to cultivate intimate moments with your partner. Because as time is limited on Singles Inferno, but also in real life. Okay. Talking about the weather. Getting close. So Sulky's intentions are clear. Mm. It's like, oh my god, she's like, you have nothing to say for me after I revealed my heart to you? We know Jin Young is fully capable of cultivating intimate moments. In these scenes though, his body language is, you know, not even facing her. His, his eye contact, I don't know what he's looking at. He's just like looking up into the distance. He's either not saying a word or he's talking about talking instead of actually talking. I think the good thing is Jin Young can teach us a lot about dating and lessons in love on either spectrum. Next up, a series of Jung Woo moments. <laughs> Stole that camera. That's for the group at 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 the back in the island. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Anna, is that not filming? No, but there's no film. Hey, excuse me, sir. Oh, did you see that? The arm grab. That's what you're looking for. As a guy. Okay, good. Okay, good. What's the smell? What smell? I mean, these are intimate moments. Noga or even Jilga? Tangjan. But why are you looking at me? He's like, see, she's feeding me too. See, she's feeding me too. And she's Done. crying, so... Another intimate moment that... <laughs> the fact that he messed up the intimate moment makes it more intimate because now they can, they can cry together but also laugh together. And then what else they, can they do together after that? Next up is the iconic book segment. <laughs> What is this, a book of, book of love secrets? Book of love lessons? It's like a book of six love lessons, right? Mm. 
it's like a Trojan horse. He's planting it there. And she's kind of feeling down, so... Don't get too nervous when you meet someone. If you keep tensing up, it's because you're trying too hard. So stop trying so hard and things will work out eventually. If you watched my part one, you'll remember talking without talking that Jin Young was so good about. Dropping this Trojan horse book is clearly talking without talking. The great thing about this strategy is he's cultivating an intimate moment even though he's not there. We don't even know his intention with the book. Like, are they about his feelings? Or are they more of commentary on her feelings? It doesn't even matter. The fact that she's thinking about it, she's feeling it, she knows who gave it to her is the only important thing here. He's like, I, it's, it's working out for me. Well done, John. Sophie let us know like way earlier who her pick was. I think a lot of us will look at this conversation and think this is a conversation between like two best girlfriends. But the thing is, if this is what Soki is looking for, who are we to say no to her? This is the connection she wants and Zhang Wu delivered. Jin Young is perfectly capable of delivering this as well. He just had different priorities, um, which is totally fine. So that wraps up the last two episodes of Singles Inferno. If you haven't watched the show, it's amazing. So many lessons to learn that you can apply to your own life. If you're a guy who needs help with dating, if you're a girl who wants to know how to be tactful, if you're a girl who wants to know, you know, how guys work. An amazing show, great format. So glad I got to share some of these lessons with you. Adios. <laughs>